ho una memoria idea. Guardati. Che schifo. Da quanto tempo non ti cambi quei vestiti? Guarda qui. Spazzatura ovunque. Sei così inutile che non riesci nemmeno a tenere un minimo pulito lo spazio in cui vivi. Ti alzi solo per andare in bagno e prendere i tuoi... Bene. Ok, first of all, I think that the filmmaker manages to capture what it means to live with either anxiety or depression because it feels like living with a, with a little annoying voice that is always making you feel bad about yourself and that prevents you from breaking your toxic behavior. It was terrific. I'm very uh, amazed by this short film because it gets it. It gets what it, it, it gets the feeling, it gets what it means to have that tiny annoying voice. And, and it's a bit fun because the lady in black um, is very annoying, but she's also kind of fun because she has some interesting charisma. And I was completely blown away to find out that the lady in black is actually the director of this film. I'm sure she had a lot of fun playing this part and doing the whole thing. And I want to congratulate her because it was an amazing short film. There's a smart use of color, a smart use of camera angles and movement. The performances are very convincing and the message is very beautiful. I'm Italian, so I couldn't help but be sympathetic with this project, um, mainly because I'm aware of how hard it is for Italian productions to get any money. So I think you guys made a quite a clever choice in creating a story that is self-contained and happens in one night or two days, whatever, and um, that, in a story that is very subjective and the subject matter, especially in this Italian context, uh, cultural context, is quite innovative. And I like that it has a clear theme, brotherhood and resilience. So, which, um, yeah, leads a story throughout. So I think um, some elements really work, uh, all these that I just said. And also I like that the, um, also the, um, his critic voice materializing in a human form, which really helps us understand the main character. And um, it's not, um, a, a, it's quite a complex character because uh, she, she brings him down constantly, but at the same time somehow passively and um, uh, mysteriously supports him. The main um, um, elements of the story really work. The structure is very cohesive. And um, the character is the feeling of being stuck is really conveyed. So I enjoyed watching this for sure. Um, yeah, so I managed to work on that's normal. We've seen the the tortured writer sort of trope so many times, but um, there were some interesting fresh elements to this one. Starting as we did, we didn't really know uh, what we were uh, getting into. So there was that good uh, sort of sense of mystery off the bat. I did start to suspect um, that she was a, a sort of a figment of his imagination. Um, uh, and then it just sort of all culminates and builds up really nicely uh, and uh, then ends the way it does. The, the turning right at the end is sort of just kind of necessary when you're doing this uh, piece. And I, I thought it worked really well here. Um, you know, it was beautiful. It was touching. Um, and the whole duration, the whole piece is, you know, in the dark of his room. And that, that's obviously, you know, very uh, symbolic. And then uh, the lights sort of come on, the blinds open, and it's a, it's a fresh start. And, you know, the, the words start flying off. It's, I said, we've seen it before, but um, it's nice when you can uh, see it in a way that's uh, somewhat fresh. And for me, and... Uh, in another language, um, I think uh, seeing in Italian kind of um, gave it an, another uh, sort of fresh spin to it. So overall, really well done. It's about a guy who is very depressed and can't find a motivation to move forward in his life. 
um, and to keep writing. The girl who's with him for most of the film and is constantly putting him down is imagined. It's a manifestation of his ex who is always really hard on him um, and mentally hurt him constantly and her words have since lingered and put him in this terrible headspace. Um, with the motivation from his brother, he's able to find his passions again with writing, um, and like you can see that in the way the room gets brighter um, and the lighting picks up. Um, it's really moving in the end, and I think that they did a great job making it clear she was not real, and he was stuck in his head, and I think the actor did a great job showing the darkness he felt in the beginning um, and the transition to the end, um, and overall I think the story and message was really great.